Okay, this is my 1985 Interceptor. As you can see, it has uh, quite a bit of age, but it's still working. Uh, paint's a little faded. Uh, the previous owner uh, painted that pretty well. Uh, let's see. Mission uh, It has about 30,000 miles on it. Brakes still work, still shifts everything. Uh, I had the carbs cleaned. There it is. That's the front. The walk around, tires. I think I also have the fairings on the side fairings, so I got all that. The tires should be in good condition. Oh, there's where I. I dropped it when I uh, didn't tie it down correctly. Still tagged in Florida and uh, it's in my name. This is my parts bike now. Uh, it was running about four or five months ago but then they said that one of the cylinders has 50 psi only and then the clutch they said kind of went out too so so this is my parts one right now other than that the engine's still solid I'm sure you'll need a carb cleaning and everything here's the bike turned on So it looks like that's broken and then that one, I think that's not working either. And then either that gauge. But the fuel gauge is working, I think. The center unit. Hey guys. Hey, so I was just went out for riding and uh, uh, for the first 15 minutes it looks like the bike did good. But then after that, when I was heading back home, I don't know, it just starts cutting off. and. Uh, you know, I'm pushing the clutch and then it'll go up to like second, third shift and then while I'm getting ready to slow down and come back, shift back down, all of a sudden the RPM gauge, just the RPM gauge right there, just comes straight down and, uh, and then the bike turns off. So I don't know what it could be. I don't know what your recommendations are. I love this bike, but you know, you know how it is with the old bikes. All right, just uh, see what kind of recommendations you guys have for this one. Thanks.